Good evening people and welcome. I just thought I'd do a video on um, a reissue here. Um, as you probably see by the thumbnail, um, we got the LF20 and we got a beautiful AE20. One was made in 1988 and one was made in, I think it came out last year, but I bought mine yesterday. I bought this one direct from Casio because I was intrigued to see, because I did have one of these last time and it came in a black box and I see someone else have one as well and it's in a different box. So I thought I'd go direct to Casio itself and I buy one direct. And um, I had a discount code as well. So I had a big discount, so I didn't pay much for this. Free postage as well, my God, beautiful. Um, with these sort of videos, I like to do a comparison with um, the packaging as well. So you would see what it like when it was brand new. So when this one here came out, this is the sort of packaging you would have expected. And let's take it out of the box and have a little look. Be very careful with this because it's in beautiful condition and I don't want to put any marks on it. Let's just put this over here. So this here is the original 1988 Casio AE20 and that's what it would look like. Now let's get this one here out and this is what it would look like. So this is how it came. It's <clears throat> I bought many Casios um, direct from Casio, but this is the first time I've come in a box like this. I think this is just all recycled stuff. Um, so inside here we'll have all the, actually it's on this side I think. Oh, I don't know why I opened it that side. Put it out. And that's what it will be like in here. And at the back here we have our manual. And on the old on, on the old one, this cardboard here, it opens out like this and you got your manual in it. So this is how it would have come. Let's take it out in a cardboard as well. So it's got a little sleeve over it. Um, and that's how it would have come. It's not even a buckle on it. Let's um, take it all up. And this is, voila, stuck on my fingers it is. Let me just take this off here because it would just annoy me. And by the way, in the UK at the moment, it is like 30 something, it is roasting, very, very hot. So let's crack onto it. I should have my beautiful gloves on, but I don't. Um, these are the comparisons. Um, let's zoom in and have a little look. So we can have a proper, proper look. Now, as you can see, the display to the untrained eye looks very, very similar, and it and it is. You can't you can't dispute that. Um, the outside case is a little different. I mean, they're both made out of same stuff, resin. This one's got, um, in fact, it's got the same buttons. One's a little bit in inside here. Um, What's evident is, is how much they scaled back the design. I think because the 80s was more vibrant, vibrant colors and very out there. I mean, if you look at the old MacDonald, oh my God, this watch just kept falling off my hands. If you look at the old um, McDonald's, you will see how much they've changed over the years. It used to be all colorful, um, branding and the chairs inside and stuff like that. Now they're all gray and very minimistic. So this is what it looks like. See if you can see here on the old one, you see the strap, how different it is compared to this one. So this one here, for example, they've got this little slanted part here, which rests on the back, which makes putting the strap on, on your wrist much more comfier because of that hugging around the wrist. This one here is just a very basic on two pins and it's just, I mean, it's a lot more flexible, a lot more bendy. So it probably is better. I don't know, that's down to um, an opinion. 
Um, the graphics, I think, on the strap makes it look absolutely stunning. And that's what I love most about this, these particular 80s watches. And if you zoom into here, you will see the, the new one. Um, it's just very rushed, you know. They just thought, let's put like a, a strap on it, end of. There's not much thought that got into it. As opposed to this one here, it's sort of seamless all the way over and the way it just fits like this and just the strap itself is just I think really lovely and the straps play a big part it's like alloy wheels on cars the wheels on a car will make it look extra special and it's the same I think with the uh, with watches the straps itself just bring the watch out perfectly now if this was just all black it wouldn't have half the appeal I think it's because it's got the graphics on the side and the name of the watch which makes it, makes it extra beautiful, I think. And I also love the red on here and the blues. Now the new one hasn't got that. It's just very minimistic. Minimist, minimistic? Oh, I can't even say my words. Um, that doesn't mean I don't like this watch. I do like it. I mean, I showed my daughter this watch um, when I was doing the um comparing on the doing the, the thumbnail and I asked her which one she preferred she instantly went to this one she much preferred this one that's what I said to her why she went oh I don't understand why you have all these words everywhere it doesn't make sense she prefers this and um, she's nine by the way um yeah and that's comparing them together me I am biased I much prefer this one it doesn't mean I don't like this one. Now the cons and pluses. So let's look at the display. If you look at this display here, this part here is huge chunks of the pie is going round. As this one here, there are very tiny little splines. You see them there? And that is what I love about this watch. Now, don't forget, this technology was quite new in the 80s. So look how much effort they took to do all these tiny little splines. It's much, you would have thought, by the way, these watches are 36 years different. This is 1988, this is 2024. You would have thought they would have come out with something a bit more, not so rushed as opposed, which I think this watch is, you would have come up with something different, maybe being, Color, I don't know, but I don't know. It just, I, I feel this watch is rushed. When you bring out a reissue of one of the most iconic Casio watches of the 80s, or any digital watch of the 80s, it has to be the AE class. So AE 21, 22, this is the 20. Um, you would have to come up with something better, more more ingenious maybe this one should have had bluetooth feature a color screen rechargeable just something bringing it to the 21st century as opposed to this one here that's what i'm disappointed about and if we flip through the menu here so what's this i love the way it does that by the way so when you flip through the menu on this one that thing spins around this one, you don't get that. So nothing really happens when you change menu, you just skip. Um, one thing I would say though, the difference being is, so if you clicked on a timer on this watch, the new one, so let's click on a timer. If you look on the bottom here, it will highlight what menu you're on. So, mo, what menu, mo, you on now. Stopwatch, in fact, let's put a stopwatch, and as we're on it, now, if we click start, this is a stopwatch. Nothing is really happening except the chunks there. Now, if we click the stopwatch on this one, you see the difference? I, me personally, much prefer this. And as we're counting down the seconds here, minute 15, you see this is getting filled up. This is the second chart. This is going round like some sort of radar on a ship or something. Um, 
just reset this one quickly. And if we click on timer, and a timer on this one, Where's the timer? There we are. And it's the same thing again. Now, if you click on the timer on this on the old one, the whole thing lights up. It does this radar thing as well. And the seconds here are in two sections. You see the outer ring and the inner ring. Beautiful. And if you, um, so actually, did I try this one here? So if you probe this, oh, let's, let's just reset this quickly. One second, I'll just go back to the timer. Oh my God. Oh, this hasn't got it. This one has this, um, so there is, a few differences that make this watch feel and look a lot cheaper but it has got its pluses like this one here has got world time this one hasn't and i can understand why and also it has also got a light quite a good light as well this one hasn't but i understand why it hasn't because cramming all that features on an old watch like this would have been challenging and having a light back then in them times would have been challenging on the battery. So I can understand all those adding up to, to why this would have been better now. And so they've added a lot more features on this watch. It's just the way they went about it, they've made, it's not ingenious. You would have thought Casio, because don't forget Casio back in the eighties were really smart. They came out with ingenious ideas, clever ideas, well ahead of the market, well ahead of any competitor. Bring out a watch like this in 2024, 2023 is really a backward company. They could have come out with this, this particular watch, these features in the 80s. Now we're talking 36 years later, this should have been well advanced. Like these little splines here, should have been here but in i think in more special detail there's no wow factor it's just a very plain ordinary watch if i was to bring out one of these i think i would have gone similar design because a reissue is the same watch you bring out the same features you're just enhancing everything bringing it into into what we are used to now I think this should have had some sort of text advantage or, you know, phone call advantage, Bluetooth advantage, something. Something should have been to the, to this day and age, but it, it isn't really, and it's nothing special. Um, so the back plate on this feels really solid, by the way. Even though all these little words feel nice. But you take the old one, it just feels like a brush steel plate you know stamped it just do you know what i mean it just doesn't feel like even the straps are very you know bouncy and boingy this just feels so i can't even tell you how amazing this watch feels oh my god it's keep falling down on me just a beautiful beautiful timepiece and that is what makes it so collectible nowadays it's ingenious ideas the flex on the strap itself is just beautiful. Everything about this watch is absolutely stunning. What is this watch going to be like in 36 years? Are we going to start collecting if people today's age, 10, 12, 13, 14, are going to start collecting these? Or will they just be, you know, part of rubbish? This has got silver buttons as well. You know, it's okay. I think I'm just getting spoiled. I mean, my mind is always on, I'm looking at the old Casios back in that 80s time and they had a hundred times more character, a hundred times more feel to them. Just beautiful pieces. I just feel today, 
they've lost all that. I've, I, and I hate to say anything negative about Casio, and I don't want to either. And I do like this watch. It's just I wish they tried harder. I wish they got someone in the design team that was really passionate about Casio. It's like, imagine if I was in their design team and they asked me, we want to bring a reissue out on this. What do you think we should do? I don't think I would have come out come out and agreed to a watch like this. And I think a five-year-old could have agreed the design on this watch because it's basically copied like for like. They've lowered the details down. It's like, do you know what this watch reminds me of? It's like um it's like a modern day TV nowadays with 4K and they're bringing out a reissue of that 4K, but without 4K, just, I don't know, whatever it's called, 720p. Like the pixels are really downgraded, the quality is downgraded. Just to get the name, oh, it's a reissue, let's see how many we can sell. Oh, shame, shame, shame. And I'm really disappointed, you know, I really want to feel, oh, wow, this is an amazing, amazing piece. This is the original. This is the amazing piece they brought out, but it's not that at all. And I think people who are only used to seeing this watch probably won't have the same opinions as me, but I was grown up seeing these type of watches 30, 40 years later, I'm still seeing them, collecting them. I have a vast amount of them and I see them daily. Then to see something like this, it really hits you on how low the quality is. Even, even the straps. You couldn't do that with this strap. It's so stiff. It's stiff because they added all these Why did they? Why did Casio go to the drawing room, redesign the watch strap to fit over oh, to fit over the case like this? Didn't have to, but they did. They did because they wanted to be the best, and they were the best. But they came out with this. I know it's a small feature, but they they are recopying an AE twenty. The most iconic watch ever. This is just, this feels like a cheap imitation to me. But that's my verdict on it. Let me, let me know what you think, guys. Put it in the comments. I'm going to end the video there because I'm absolutely banking in this room. Um, right, you take care. Thanks for watching.